welcome back once again to my channel in today's episode i'm gonna answer some sensitive question which goes like this um can jealousy end a relationship some people think it's cute when the partner is jealous and some people don't what is my opinion um this is my opinion on this jealousy can hundred percent and absolutely obviously and automatically end the relationship but in the um, one thing i want to say is that the jealousy got to do with the person who is jealous the person who feels jealous this is what brings about jealousy comparing yourself to other people because your boyfriend or your girlfriend is hanging out with other people so it makes you feel insecure you know so and you would only feel insecure or kind of um comparison you know and that's the 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 the, the foundation in which jealousy build upon when you start comparing yourself to the people for example you think you are cute you are nice you are tall or if it's a lady you are beautiful like you have all the shape all the whatever all the empackment you have all of them and then here comes another lady who is much prettier than you beautiful taller or got all the designers and everything and then now your boyfriend hangs out with them and then it makes when the moment you compare yourself to that person then you start to feel insecure but one thing you got to understand in this life is that everybody is different once you think you are too beautiful, somebody is also beautiful. Once you think that you are so handsome, somebody is also handsome. You think you are tall, somebody is taller than you. So you have to stop comparing yourself to the people that your boyfriend or your girlfriend is hanging out with. If only your partner is not doing touch and touching with them or kind of playing some unnecessary game or going for, let me say, um, night dates or kind of going to um some places that you know it's like oh it's friends we don't have to go above this level i hope you understand my point so you don't go to that level whereby you'll be like kind of talking all night or kind of especially with the op opposite partner you know talking all night and all those stuff then it makes it kind of you will make definitely your partner jealous you know so some things we keep it on the low key it's just friends you hang out and your friend have to know your friend i think is the best idea to keep things easy understanding and simple than hiding secret and everything so um when this happen this is what you have to do stop comparing yourself look what you bring on the table what you can provide how benefit are you to this person does this person love you do they say they love you you know is there a trust between you guys how do you trust each other so if the trust is there and the love is there there is nothing to be scared of it doesn't matter how handsome the guy looks or is it doesn't matter how beautiful the girl is or the shape they have so far as you are kind of um, content with what you have or who you are you believe in yourself and love yourself i don't think anyone can do or stand in between the two of you no one can come between the two of you of course you have to be self-conscious and then make sure that things are in order and then one thing about this thing is when something is happening like this you the guy if you go out with your friends something happened if you come disclose it with your partner talk about it be open conversation is more important communication is one of the keys in relationship so if communication is lacking trust is lacking then i don't think the relationship should even hold on but there is nothing impossible in my dictionary so you can still make it so stop comparing yourself stop feeling insecure so the moment you feel insecure the game is over insecure is also another topic that we can talk about in other time to come but for now let's just based on how um, jealousy can end the relationship 
so that is my opinion on how jealousy can end a relationship and this is his second question and the second question wasn't basically like kind of um, a question it was just kind of explaining to me what is happening in their relationship so this is how his question goes he said one of my friends girlfriend doesn't allow him to go out and hang out with his friends and they have been together for four years now so what is my opinion on that well and it's like the lady is the boss of the relationship my first underlined word there is no boss in every relationship you guys are partners you guys are to be together two hairs are better than one you have to think alike you have to like bring ideas improve yourself work on yourself correct each other be there for each other support each other and make sure everything is working accordingly but if it comes like this one is the boss what i say is what you have to do then there is no relationship it's kind of one is in a trap you know when uh, maybe the partner or the guy is also feeling like um, he is scared to lose the lady, so he have to do exactly whatever the lady is saying, even though it's wrong. He have to still oblige to it, and that is not good, you know. So one thing I can tell everyone uh, listening to me or watching me right now is that jealousy can end a relationship, and if you are the person who is the jealous type, please work on yourself before you don't put other people in a situation that will destroy their life so now you are i don't know if the lady is not happy with the guys the guy his friends that he goes out with i mean his partner's friends i don't know if she is not like kind of you know okay with um, him going out with his friends then it's a problem but if she is jealous or all because of jealous or she's jealous because if he goes out he is going to cheat or something like that then i think there is no trust in this relationship so what the guy have to do right now is to just sit up and talk to the lady let the person know how you feel and what your thoughts are tell them and let them understand you how do you confront somebody like this it's not by anger not by aggression don't raise your voice high. It hurts, it never, I know. But call the person on a date. Talk to the person, calm, gentle, respectful way. Approach them in a good time, on a good location. Location is one of the most important. Choose a nice environment. Bring this person there. Pour your heart. Be vulnerable to the person. Let them understand how you feel emotionally, physically, and mentally. How much you love them. Express your love to them. And let them know, hey, baby, I really love you. I do care about you. I will never cheat on you. Trust me, baby. If I don't love you, I wouldn't be here today. You are the apple of my eye. You are the one in a million. I saw many other ladies. And I decide to go out with you. You know why? It's because I love you. Because I care about you. I'm not like all guys. Okay, well, my friends might not be good friends. But I have my own brain. have my own mind. I think for myself. So, this is what I feel. Keeping me indoors. is like kind of preventing me from my future. At least I have to interact with people outside the world. To know what is going on have to connect because it's 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 a life you're gonna live for the rest of your life with you know so you don't just have to be locked up at one place where you feel like a water in a cup when it stays there for long it will smell it begin to stink so what you have to do is to let the person flow like a river let them explore you know if you have time, hang out with them, chill with them, have fun with them. Don't do something that will make them also jealous. Don't be touching your female friends or doing certain things that will make them jealous. So you also will help them to be able to overcome that jealousy. 
you know, by talking to them, bringing them, presenting them in front of your friends and your family and your female friends, let them know she is the one you are with. And that will start to boost, you know, to start to boost um, her inner confidence, you know. So thank you so much for joining me today. I think it's enough for today. But one more advice that I will give you today is that, hey, work on yourself. Be proud of yourself. Think that you are the best among the rest. Boss up the place. One love.